Hello guys, my name is Nancy Ume. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making Ewa Agoi. Uh, if you grew up in Lagos, you would know this dish because this is a very popular street food. It doesn't originate from Nigeria, but it's really, really popular now. So if you want to enjoy beans in a different way, this is the recipe for you. You would need peppers. Now this is a different kind of pepper. It's called dried red chili pepper or shombo when you get to the market just ask for shombo dried shombo you also need your scotch bonnet and your crayfish and your palm oil onions cayenne pepper your um honey beans and some salt and bouillon cubes now the original recipe doesn't call for onions but you know my children are going to eat out of this food i can't just be blending only pepper <laughs> i don't want to die <laughs> i actually made this recipe before and i just couldn't eat it because it was so hot so i decided to introduce some peppers now you want to soak your beans for at least two hours to get the you know to make sure that you don't have a lot of flatulence then boil the soaked beans in enough water on low heat just forget it just reduce the heat to low and then forget the beans just let it boil on very low heat we're going to blend this pepper that we soaked earlier with some scotch bonnet that's a lot of scotch bonnet but you know that's the original recipe some onions and your crayfish now you want to add the water that you used to soak this pepper because it actually has the essence and the flavor so you don't want to throw it away make sure you rinse your pepper before you soak it so you can use the water you add some more water we, we don't want this too thick if not you're going to burn your sauce before it's even ready so add enough water not to the top but just enough to blend it and then you're looking for a rough consistency not too smooth if you can get the seeds out without it being too smooth then fine now we're going to bleach our palm oil for about eight minutes till it's a uh, golden color or honey color slice some onions switch off the heat and then just throw the onions into the palm oil the residual heat is going to cook the onions till it's brown just forget it there and let it cook and then when it's almost brown um like so you add just a little bit of cayenne pepper now this is what gives it that gritty you know feeling like there's stones in it this is exactly what they do they just add some cayenne pepper and then they keep mixing now this is the fun part you add your pepper in bits you know allow the first spoon fry before you add the second spoon and then just keep going like that this allows it to boil and fry at the same time so you don't end up with a burnt sauce it is very easy to burn this sauce and if you're not patient if you just throw everything in there you might end up with a very um the oil might not be enough to fry this sauce so what you want to do is just add it in bits and pieces and then after the last scoop, you just season with some salt and some maggi. I used um, no chicken, just there. And this is where the work starts. You just keep stirring and make sure your, your heat is on low. So you fry that sauce till it's, you know, till it turns dark. And that's how you know your sauce is ready. Notice it's not burnt, it's just dark. Uh, your kitchen would already start to smell like a while going at this point. And now that's how you know you're ready. Note it is not burnt, it's just a little bit brown. So that's what you're looking for. Now to the beans. The beans, I've been checking on it. It's soft now. Remember it's on low heat. When the water is about to dry up, just season with some salt. Some people add, you know, bouillon cubes to their beans, but there's absolutely no need for that. Season with some salt. Let it simmer until the water dries up a little bit. And then it is time to mash. So get your potato masher or your wooden spoon and then mash to you know your desired consistency now i like it you know really really mashed up i don't want to see any full bean any whole bean um yeah grain just like that that's how i like it and that's how my kids enjoy it and you want to serve this hot with some plantain and some fried fish or grilled fish this you need to really try this recipe if you're tired of the normal bean porridge you really need to try it. you don't even have to be from lagos to try it my kids absolutely love it and adding onions is very important to take you know tone down the heat of the sauce <laughs> i played around a little bit and did it fine dining style and then everybody was wondering what's wrong with me <laughs> thank you guys for watching god bless you